In this video, you'll learn how to set up a secondary backup FortiGate unit to provide redundancy if the primary FortiGate unit fails. This setup is called High Availability, or HA, and improves network reliability. In this video, you'll learn how to set up a secondary backup FortiGate unit to provide redundancy if the primary FortiGate unit fails. First, you'll connect the backup FortiGate unit to a previously installed FortiGate to form a high availability HA cluster. Before you begin, make sure both FortiGates are running the same FortiOS firmware version. Also, make sure that the interfaces are set up so that they don't get their addresses from DHCP or PPoE. Register and apply licenses to the new FortiGate unit before adding it to the HA cluster. This includes licensing for FortiCare support, IPS, antivirus, web filtering, mobile malware, FortiClient, FortiCloud, and additional virtual domains. All FortiGates in the cluster must have the same level of licensing for FortiGuard, FortiCloud, FortiClient, and VDOMs. Forty token licenses can be added at any time because they are synchronized to all cluster members. You can also install any third-party certificates on the primary FortiGate before forming the cluster. Once the cluster is formed, third-party certificates are synchronized to the backup FortiGate. On the primary FortiGate, go to System, Settings, and change the host name to identify this as the primary FortiGate in the HA cluster. Go to System, HA, and set the mode to Active Passive. Set the device priority to a higher value than the default, in the example 250, to make sure that this FortiGate will always be the primary FortiGate. Also, set a group name and password. Make sure that the two heartbeat interfaces, in this example port 3 and port 4, are selected, and the heartbeat interface priority for each is set to 50. Since the backup FortiGate is not available, when you save the HA configuration, the primary FortiGate will form a cluster of one FortiGate, but will keep operating normally. If there are other FortiOS HA clusters on your network, you may need to change the cluster group ID using this CLI command. Now connect the backup FortiGate to the primary FortiGate. Making these network connections will disrupt traffic, so you should do this when the network is not processing much traffic. If possible, make direct Ethernet connections between the heartbeat interfaces of the two FortiGate units. Switches must be used between the cluster and the internet, and between the cluster and the internal networks. You can also use one switch for all of these connections, as long as you configure the switch to separate traffic from the different networks. Connect the backup FortiGate GUI and go to System, Settings, and change the host name to identify this as the backup FortiGate. Go to System, HA, and duplicate the HA configuration of the primary FortiGate. Set Mode to Active Passive and set the device priority to a lower value than the default to make sure that this FortiGate will always be the backup FortiGate. Also, set the same group name and password as the primary FortiGate. Make sure that the same two heartbeat interfaces are selected and the heartbeat interface priority for each is set to 50. When you save the HA configuration of the backup FortiGate, if the heartbeat interfaces are connected, the FortiGates will find each other and form an HA cluster. Connect to the GUI of the primary FortiGate. The HA status widget shows the cluster mode and group name. It also shows the host name of the primary FortiGate, which you can hover over to verify that the cluster is synchronized and operating normally. You can click on the widget to change the HA configuration or view a list of recently recorded cluster events, such as members joining or leaving the cluster. If the cluster is part of a security fabric, go to Security Fabric, 
and then click on the physical or logical topology view to see more information about the cluster status. Traffic is now passing through the primary 40 gate. However, if the primary 40 gate becomes unavailable, traffic should fail over and the backup 40 gate will process traffic. A failover also causes the primary and backup 40 gate to reverse roles even when both 40 gates are available again. To test HA failover, you can disconnect the primary FortiGate unit during downtime. Make sure to open the CLI and execute a shutdown first. After a moment, power off the primary FortiGate. You'll be disconnected, and then you can log back into the primary GUI. In the security fabric, we can see that the primary is no longer shown, and only the backup FortiGate is displayed in the network topology. If you don't have security fabric, you can go to the main dashboard to view the widget status or network HA to see that the primary unit is offline and the backup unit is successfully operating. Thanks for watching! For more tutorials like this one, subscribe to our channel or click Read This Recipe to view the text version here.